guys and welcome back to our channel we just pulled up at the airport Tyler is here to drop us off he's so sad unfortunately he's not gonna be able to go with us due to him having to go to work but as most of y'all know me and Ryder decided to go to San Diego California I've always wanted to go there and we're gonna go so I'm gonna bring y'all along with me throughout the day and just kind of show y'all how it goes this will be my second time on an airplane and this will be Ryder's first time so I'm a little nervous we do have a layover in Denver and the weather is supposed to be kind of bad there's supposed to be like a winter storm coming not really sure but I'm gonna update y'all once I get there and all of that good stuff so yeah I just stay tuned and see how it goes I'm gonna miss my baby all right let's go just got done um, going through security and now we are headed to what is it called? Terminal. the terminal to wait to be picked up from our plane you want to get something to eat yeah we're gonna get a snack I have not ate like ate anything, eaten anything all day so we're gonna pick out a snack it's a lovely snack bar whatever it's called um, I don't know what I want. There's so many snacks in here. Look at all this. Mmm. Get some bold chips mint. And for Ryder, what's something that Ryder? I wonder if they have like a. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm sure he does. You want to get him a cheese? He likes the cheese one. Alright, let's go check out. I'm just going to get these and like a drink. I don't know what drink I'm going to get yet though. Ready? Are we going? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Are you ready?
so we landed in Denver about an hour ago and we landed at like 11 11 and I didn't get his stroller um, from the boarding thing until like 11 15 and we were at the complete other side of the airport like literally the other side and it was really so far so we ended up missing our flight and I had to reschedule so the next flight doesn't leave until 7 45 tonight so that means that we will be chilling here for about seven hours it's now one but yeah I will update y'all as it gets closer to me we are still delayed we stopped and got some McDonald's. We're headed to our next flight here in a little bit. It's at the complete opposite side of the airport, so we're gonna head down there. But me and Ryder also just took a very long nap. Um, I laid on the floor and he laid in his car seat, thankfully. And yeah, we just got a little nap out. We didn't get much sleep last night. But it's looking like a snowy day outside. I don't know if y'all be, yeah. It's pretty, pretty white out there. White Christmas. Except for the fact that it's not Christmas and we have a plane ride to catch and so I don't hope it don't get I hope it don't get canceled. But yeah. I will continue to update y'all as the day goes on. We are now headed down the um, whatever it's called. The ramp to get on our second flight headed to San Diego. Finally! So I will update y'all once we get there. Hopefully we're both gonna take a nap because we're both really tired. So yeah, I'll see y'all when we get to San Diego. So I know that I have pretty much not been on here the whole entire time that we've been here, but it has been a crazy time. Um, so once we got to San Diego, Everything was fine after the layover and stuff. We ended up having to spend like eight hours in the airport. And Ryder was good for the most part, but he was a little fussy and stuff, which was to be expected. Um, he is 18 months old and it's hard keeping them in a stroller the whole time and I was scared to let him down because he is so fast and he will get away from me in a minute. So anyways, we ended up getting to San Diego really late and we went to get our rental car and had some problems, so we ended up getting that situated. Well, we came home and we went to bed, and then we woke up the next morning, and Ryder really needed some milk and a sippy cup, because I ended up leaving his sippy cup in the airport. So we go to Target, and I go to reach my purse, and I realize that I don't have my wallet. So I was completely freaking out, because I have no money. Like, all my money was in my wallet. I had both of my debit cards and over $600 in cash in there. And before y'all say anything, I know that I should not have had that much money. The only reason that I did is because I had a wedding on Saturday and we left on Sunday at like 5 a.m. So I did not have time to go put it in the bank and I was like, whenever I get there, I'll go put it in the bank somewhere or I will just um, have that and use that for my spending money. So I didn't put it in the bank and I realized that my wallet was not in my purse. So I'm freaking out and I'm like, what am I gonna do? I have no money to my name right now and I have an 18 month old that has to have things. So thankfully I was able to Venmo my grandmother some money and she was able to put it on the card um, and I was able to use one of her debit cards or whatever. So we got that money situation figured out but I still didn't know where my wallet was. So I called up to the Denver Lost and Found and they were like, I don't know, like we're gonna have to wait and see, nothing's been turned in yet. Well then I got an email the next morning saying that my wallet had been found. Keep in mind I had $600, over $600 in there. And they told me that there was only $16 in my wallet so someone stole the however amount and all that. But my cards were in there and my key fob to my car and my house key and our insurance cards and things like that so honestly i'm just glad that i got my wallet back and got all that stuff money can be made i'm not really worried about the money um it's just more of just 
Like, I would, me personally, I would never, if I found a wallet, I would never take someone's money out of that. That's just the kind of person I am. I don't care how much it was. I don't care how bad I needed it. I never know if that person needed it more, and I would just never do that. That's just not the kind of person I am. I believe in karma, and I believe that it will come back to you some, some way or another. But that is that, and I'm just glad that they were able to find it and that someone did turn it in, even though they did take my money the more valuable things were still there so yeah but i got it shipped to my house and i've tried not to let it ruin my trip even though it kind of has been you know just upsetting because i work hard for my money and just to know that everyone's not like kind hearted but that's just the world we live in and i get that but yeah that's pretty much the end of this vlog i'm going to vlog tomorrow we plan on doing some fun things and yeah I will see y'all in our next vlog. Bye.